Hi, I'm Paul from The Balanced Runner. Um, what we're gonna go through today is one of the key components of my running um, gait retraining. But this is the analysis or the self-awareness portion of the session. So what I'm gonna do with Nath is actually kind of um, give an example of what I'll do in a one-on-one -on -one session and how we'll go through that self-awareness depending on the individual, which in this case is, is Nathan. Now we're gonna start from the top, work our way all the way down through the body to give Nath a really good understanding of what current movements he makes, what position he makes them in, and how that's influencing his um, efficiency, his stride, and ultimately his pace. Okay, so as I said, really important phase of the, the coaching that I do. The second portion being the retraining phase. That comes in to um, the Q-based system that I use, which is all on the membership options online. Um, check us out, tbrunner.com. So now what I'm gonna get you to do, when you run out and back, the two things I want you to start off by feeling is when you run, how close are you with your arm swing or how far away? Like get a feel for is it close, is it far yeah. away? So think about that on the way out. Yep. And then on the way back, I want you to just think about right versus left, left versus right. Do they feel the same movement yep. or are they a little bit different? Just tell me what starts to stand out. If you don't feel anything, that's okay. We'll just start to kind of yeah. pull a piece, yeah, pick yeah. it apart a bit. But for now, on the way out, how close or how far away are you yeah. to your ribs when you run? And on the way back, right and left, are they the same, are they different? Yeah. Ah, sweet. What do you reckon? My elbows have always been out wide. Yeah. <laughs> I can see you sort of grinning as soon as you say how close, how far, and you're yeah. like, oh, oh. Yeah. Nah, I've always known they've been pretty wide. Yeah. But um, whenever I've tried to like fix it, yeah. I feel like it's just like, I just always fall back into that. Yeah. Because it's just a lot more comfortable. Yeah. And, and um, I, I think also, and we'll get to shoulders, like the shoulder position and the shoulder tension where you hold it is putting you there. Yeah. So unless you actually kind of focus on what's engaged, yeah, it's yeah. really hard. You can go, okay, I'm still in this. I'm going to try and tighten it up yeah. and pull them closer. But it's actually about, you know, where it is. And it actually gets into lats as well. Yeah. So it's like, oh, I'm trying to let my shoulders go, but it's... Yeah. Further around, which makes it really difficult. So yeah, yeah. then you got stuff it. I'll just go I'll just go back to um, what feels comfortable. Yeah. Which is pretty normal. Yeah. Right and, right and left? Well, my right's always been loose, like the al at the elbow. Yeah. Whereas my left I've always found it's pretty So tight. what do you think yeah, yeah, what do you think loose and tight is? So what, what what could you pick through that loose and tight? What could it mean? What couldn't it mean? Um oh, it's just this is like tense and it's just like I'm more, because I'm right-handed. Yeah. So you've just got a lot more freedom with that side. Yeah. So like, say, I don't know, in speed work or, and when you're really pumping yeah. and you wanted to extend that, this doesn't want to extend yeah. as much, but. Why would you want to extend it? Just to get more power. Is it getting more power? Uh, yeah, no. That feels like it's more effort. Um, like it feels like you're doing more. I've always thought like it will put more downwards pressure. Yeah. So into the, into the stride. Yeah. Um, that's meaning more yeah, yeah. power. But is it? So if you're if you're trying to go forward and if you're trying to get off the ground, sinking down is that going to help? Probably not. No. 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 Look, it's it's a real common yeah. thought process for running out of 400 meter. Runner, like she was an Olympian, a full by 400 yeah. meter, and she was thinking, I've got to really hit the ground, I've got to really kind of create force. It's creating noise, it's creating hit, like it's a yeah. hard impact. But when we're running, we're trying to stay off the ground. Yeah. So we actually want to do as little as possible to maintain pace, like apply force to, to accelerate. But once you get up there, it's like I want to do as little as possible to maintain. Now, the more I come down and try and hit down, yeah. the more I'm trying to come down and hit down, yeah, exactly. I'm not actually trying to get off. Yeah. yeah. And this long lever, particularly, like I hear a lot with sprinting as well, as soon as you open up, it becomes a longer lever. Yeah, yeah. A long lever takes time and effort to move. Yeah, sure. So it's not about holding tight and small, but it's actually going, okay, if I can still hold that same kind of movement here yeah. and actually move faster, this is actually what's applying power to the ground. Yeah. So even when you're trying to do it, that's actually doing a better job. Yeah. The right's, <laughs> the right's going, okay, yeah, I'm driving. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Like I'm really driving, but it's yeah. actually making you stay on the ground longer. Yeah. 
Yeah, sure. Um, so then the last question of that right verse left, if you were to say one moves more than the other, or swings more than the other, would you say right or left? Um, for the right, yeah. that goes back a bit more. Yeah, no, yeah. it swings more. And it, yeah. that's that looseness versus tightness as well. It's like, yeah. if this doesn't move and this moves heaps, you're like, oh, that's really loose. Yeah. That's really tight. It's just moving more. Yeah. It, and it's the, the sensation that you feel is tight and loose. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. But yeah, you're starting to feel that that's actually doing more. Yeah. That's doing less. Yeah. The more it does, the less it can do. Yeah. Because it's like running across the road with a shopping bag. You've got one here and then the other one's like, yeah, yeah, exactly. like this is the same yeah, yeah. thing. So now this yeah. is going, okay, well, I have to do this to counter move this. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing nothing. Yeah. But if I'm going to do heaps of this and this is like, oh, I can't do much. Yeah. Starting to feel. Let's go. We'll stay on the arms. Yeah. Think about your right on the way out. We already know it moves a little bit more than the left. But what I want you to get a feel for is, is it kind of a drive forward and up or a pull back and up? And it's like, yeah. what's... Is it accelerating on the forward movement and recovering on the back, or is yeah. it accelerating, accelerating the on the back and, and recovering on the forward? Yeah. Think about the left on the return. Same, yeah. different. I mean, no, uh, like, you even see his left pulls up a little bit higher than his right. So it just kind of comes up a little bit and kind of see this little bit of lift through there. Yeah, it is quite his retracted. His right legs kind of actually comes around a little bit as yeah. well, doesn't he? Yeah. Tried, yeah. Because in that right side arm, is doing the same thing and it kind of that right shoulder drives and dips a little bit. Yeah. It's all to do with how wide he is from his shoulder and chest because creating that torque and a flat plane of movement. Um, I'd say more back. And Five then side? Yeah. Yeah. But very minor. Yeah. So you are quite back and it's yeah. the same as you're out and back, like you're quite retracted and then, and then it ties into, you know, wide away from the body. It's like, okay, it's yeah. kind of this movement. It's, it's behind the body quite a lot. Yeah. It's very little up and forward. Yeah. Um, it'd be interesting if you looked at the video, kind of use a visual side to it. I think the right side does come forward a little bit more, but I think yeah. it's just a bit more movement rather than like the rhythm side to it. It's a bit yeah. more movement than the left. Yeah. So you're starting to get a feeling of what you're doing. Yeah. The last thing I'll get you to do is shoulders and then we'll kind of piece it all together so we can kind of get that feel of what's going on. Yeah. Just get a sense of if this is neutral, so let your shoulders down nice and relaxed by that. Yeah. When you start running, and you'll know before you get to the end, when you run, is it just that the elbows come out or do you pull back as well? Yeah. It's almost like you retract and pull back through the shoulders or do you stay neutral and the elbows come out? Yeah. Tell me what you notice. Yeah, it's quite flat and broad, straight across. So there's shoulders, you see the bunch up of the muscles. And once they're on, they're on. <laughs> there's no relaxing from that unless we actually switch them off. Similar to, was it Q2? Yeah. 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 Um, through that open open windows that, yeah. you know, those so the open scaps. Yep. Yeah. And you'll see then it just makes that whole chest and shoulder move along with the arm. So it's not a huge rotation, it's just a lot of movement. Um, Let's see my elbows come out. Yeah. This is, oh, this is actually a little bit of retraction as well. Yeah. So behind, and that's why the elbows stay behind. Yeah. It's like it's hard for them to come behind unless you, yeah. <laughs> you get to it. And as soon as they're on, like they're on, you won't feel them again from there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's funny, some people will have like turning up to a session after, you know, first session, maybe a week or two after the marathon, or, or they've done it previously, and they're like, oh, I think it was most sore was my shoulders. Yeah, yeah. And you go, that, does that make sense to you? No. So like here, yeah, yeah, and then they run for you know three, four, or five hours. How yeah. long it takes for like this? Yeah, position. Exactly. I think I'll shoulder really sore. For you though, right and left a little bit different, quite out, yeah, and you know it's quite a flat movement, yeah. So nothing is really helping you come off the ground, yeah. You know, like it's all flat plane yeah, energy yeah. and right and left a little bit different, quite restricted. And so when you start to run, it's like okay, well if I can get force, I'll open through here. So I can't really get a lot through here. Yeah. And this is like, well, I don't want to do that. So have kind of got all these different movement patterns. Yeah. It's away from the body, which is then taking your kind of mass away as well. Yeah. And then it's quite broad. So just need more energy, more effort. Yeah, for sure. Makes sense so far? Yeah. Um, and as I think the thing for you is like, you're already aware of some of the movements yeah. and what you've seen or, you know, like what you feel. Yeah. It's starting to give you a bit more of an understanding of how that's affecting you. So particularly when these are restricted, or they can't swing as freely, it takes away time and space for them to be the, the, the dominant movement. Yeah. 
Now you're synchronized or patterned into the upper leg, which is good. Yeah. However, they're just being limited. Yeah. It's like, okay, I'll do this. And it's like, okay, a little bit of a choppier stride rather than just a nice flowy, yeah. open pattern of movement, even at easy pace. Yeah. Um, but then as you start to get into open, you know, faster pace, so we want to actually use range. Yeah. But if they can't swing, you can't get that range. So then it's like, okay, well, I'll just spin more. Yeah. I just have to work really hard to drive. Yeah. 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 Does that all sound about right to the way that you yeah. kind of, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Pretty much spot on. Yeah, spot on. So yeah. when you start to do race stuff, it's like, okay, I just got to turn over a bit more and it's quite yeah. tight. Um, well, like, the funniest thing is, like, if you watch a race of mine, I do have a longer stride yeah. than most people. Yeah. But, yeah, I've always wondered, it's like, but I wouldn't say it really works in my favour <laughs> too much. But okay, what's like, up? Well, like, um, I think, yeah, like a lot of effort goes into yeah, it. Yeah, okay. Um, so it's like you, when, once I open up, yeah. I'll kick quicker than most other people, but I just can't with like stand, like hold it for too yeah. long. Cause yeah, it needs a lot more effort. Put a fair bit into it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I think that's what I was talking about. Like you're patterned into and synchronized to the right or the correct part of the leg. Yeah. So you're using the upper leg as a driver and you're not going to be as fast as what you can get to without. Yeah. Or if you are, it's going to be, you have to be a freak. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. Or Bikili or someone yeah, like that. Yeah. Just a lower leg dominant mover, but he's a freak. Yeah. yeah. Um, but he's got a lot of injury. But what you're finding is like to get the maximum out of what you are tapping into, you have to work so hard yeah. up here to allow this to happen that it does yeah. burn you out quicker rather than going, no, actually I can work easier, still use them and hold it for longer. Yeah. So yeah. there's a fair bit to gain out of that. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think that's pretty, pretty good with the legs. But let's just go, let's stay with the torso bit because I think this is the second dairy part that we might work on too. Yeah. When you get into this position, I want you to feel, so again, neutral position here, so ribs are quite uh, flush with abdomen, yeah, close to, close to hips. When you start running, I want you to tell me, do you actually feel them lift and yeah. flare, or do you feel your arch increase, yeah. or do they stay as it is now? Yeah. Tell me what you feel. Yeah, it's pretty interesting in, in regards to like, it is a little bit, like his lower leg has to move a little bit more, but he makes him real toey. It's not like a smooth, open pattern of movement because he's quite, you know, broad and restricted. So he's obviously a good runner, like a really good runner, but he's limiting his capacity on, on like how much he can get out of what he's actually got good stuff or what is good at the moment. Probably save my back. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. And just arches up a little bit. The yeah. faster you go, the more do you feel. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and again, it's kind of limiting through here as well because you kind of get to that point. Like, okay, well, I'm trying to, I'm trying to push and extend through that hip drive and the hip range, but I'm actually kind of yeah, limiting. Yeah, limiting. Yeah, rather yeah. than and I don't want. To, it's not about kind of being rounded or too far forward, but if you're being in a neutral position, it actually allows us to kind of create uh, a bit yeah. more range. Yeah, yeah. just kind of push yourself forward. Yeah. I think the big thing for you to take away outside of what we'll work on is nothing from hips up is giving you any force yeah so we want to actually take away any tension any you know um stiffness any width yeah to allow these to work better because anything you do up here is actually at the moment not helping that part yeah so the only things we can help with from the top half is like you know, balance movement stability lift yeah. No force. Yeah. No force. <laughs> no yeah. force. You're not touching the ground. Yeah. Except by legs down. So we may as well go, okay, let's just turn everything off. Yeah. Increase movement, increase flow, increase what you're doing. Yeah. So that then we can actually get more out of them. Sure. Yeah? Yep. So what I will get you to do, so this and this will be more about trying to get a feel for what you're doing now compared to. So yeah. this will just be a baseline. The number is arbitrary, it's just about what you feel. If you run out and back, I want you to think about upper legs. So like hip to knee. Yeah compared to knee to foot. Yep. I want you to run out and back and tell me what feels like, what part of the leg feels like it is doing more? Okay, yeah. Is it the upper leg that's doing more? Is it the lower leg that's doing more? Yep. If 50-50 is even, where do you see or feel your ratio between the two? Ah. And again, it's there's no right or wrong answer to this. Yep. It's just about what you currently feel. So then we can actually kind of compare it to yep. what we're gonna do. Ah, perfect. It's actually interesting seeing like the first couple of steps and whilst distance running, you know, it's it's 0.001% of the run. 
that he drives down and back with the kind of down and back with his hands and lower arms until he kind of then he gets into his pattern but that becomes exactly what he was talking about like when he's trying to run off. fast yeah. yeah but even a sprinter takeoff you see him big and up like yeah. they do i think open and extend a little bit too much through here rather than drive back and up with the elbow say up the leg yeah like 60 40. yeah cool yeah. and it's just to give that arbitrary so it's like it is working it has yeah. to yeah um the way that you move you're landing have you thought through that at some point or another to change it or has that just always been how you landed just always yeah quite high quite high on its eyes. it's not not a bad thing yeah um, but like in saying that i reckon like you probably toned down when i've gotten into my running yeah okay yeah like it's just obviously once you get up and like, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah but yeah like i i know i land pretty heavily outside, outside and on the right the yeah. left's not as much yeah. but like if you look at all my shoes it's like yeah the outside right yeah well let, let's go on right and left yeah. all i want you to do is go does it lead like i know you're sort of talking about on the outside i just yeah. want you to run out and back and tell me does one one leg lead or reach further in front of the body right or left yeah, does yeah. actually feel like one gets further in front ah. so they, they come up behind pretty much the same height the left probably flicks up a little bit quicker but only marginally like it's just pretty minimal it'd be interesting to know what he says about the right right foot though and i think it's talking through what um what we mentioned at the start where it kind of flicks around a little so once it flicks around a little bit it comes a little bit more in line probably say my left snaps back quicker yeah good yeah 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 like, cool. up a little bit higher behind the body yeah yeah, yeah good yeah. i mentioned that on the way out it's like yeah. it just it's marginal it comes up similar height yeah but it's like it's kind of just snaps like it's just like it's just more controlled whereas my like my right i feel like it's like taking more of a load good yeah there's one if you think about like as it comes over or through its recovery part of the stride just the foot don't worry about the rest of the leg does one feel straighter more straight or does one feel like it flicks around more so right or left um i'd say my left's more fixed yeah and then my right's a little bit more flicks around yeah yeah and good and that's what starts to get you the to the landing that you do on the right side like if it flicks around a little bit it comes around it's coming on a little bit of a different angle so it kind of lands in yeah, yeah. rather than actually coming straight and over which is what the left does it flicks quicker yeah just like up and down yeah the right's like oh yeah comes around a little yeah and what's your right arm doing comes around <laughs> yeah yeah so like they all start to filter on down through yeah, the body yeah. um and it just creates a pattern yeah it's a difference left and right yeah that doesn't move as much so that doesn't have as much time so it's going to flick up a little bit quicker and it gets a little bit more time because it comes yeah. around a little bit. so it all just starts to come into the patterns yeah makes sense yeah. 100%.